Hi, this is Mitch King with Trade Stocks America with the Tuesday morning, March 23rd, 2010 Daily Stock Report. The markets did not react near as negatively as we anticipated. Obviously, the market had priced in already. The health care reform bill was going to be passed. If it wasn't going to be passed, that market probably would have been very strong today. The indexes opened down and closed up today quite nicely, anywhere from 0.4 to over 1% on the Russell 2000. Here's the NASA composite, up 0.88% today. Made a higher high today from last week. So this is really strong. Semiconductor index was very strong, as technology stocks primarily make up the NASDAQ composite. S&P 500 was up a half of 1%, and the Russell 2000 had a big swing from a low of 667 to 683, closed up today 1.3%, and this is the small cap sector. Another really bullish sign in a stock today was Toyota Motors. After the negative press it got on Sunday, this thing just opened down a little bit and just powered right through the rest of the day. So this is really poised to move into the low 80s. It's already went over $80 today. I'm thinking that we'd go to mid to upper 80s possibly here in the coming month or so. But for now, we're looking at that $84, $85 figure here within a several weeks. This may be a good point to add a little bit of your long position if you don't have a full long position on Toyota, but don't get leveraged in any one stock. Here's WLP, which we held the healthcare stock through the weekend on the vote, only down 1% today. United Healthcare, which is typically a much more volatile stock, was down 3%. We do not have that stock in the stock table. But it's also worth noting other stocks in the same sector. Here's Aetna, up a half a percent today on a strong run the last three days, as well as Cigna, CI. We also do not have this either but very strong. It's always worth studying other stocks in the same sector. Here's Google. The stock's been fairly controlled by the short term on whether they stay in China or not. And they did pull out of mainland China today and move their server into Hong Kong. And even though that, that was controlled by the People's Republic of China, it looks like Google's strategy is to test their will of how much censorship they'll cross the border, so to speak, into Hong Kong and British government returned control to China in 1997, I believe. So it looks like this is selling off a little bit. Here's Starbucks acting really strong, pop lower and closed up 1.1%. Really strong stock, that's a hold longer term. Here's Dun & Bradstreet, stock symbol DNB, up another 0.9% today, just steadily marching up, acting really good. The approach on this one is sell as, as soon as it turns negative, set an alarm on these, have a trailing stop loss, acting very well. Here's CMG, Chipotle Mexican Grill, slight pullback. A stock that you want to be buying on the dips has been very shallow dips, really steady. You can see that right here. Hardly any of bit of a pullback. Doesn't last much more than just a day if you look at these. And here's this one right in there. So very strong stock. Try to hang on to this one, kind of like the Starbucks and CMG approach to stocks holding longer term. Here's PCYC, broke out here, high today of 647, close at 640, real strong signal. I mean, very healthy looking where you start surpassing that previous high just by a little bit. This kind of clears the way, as you guys have been hearing me to say, it clears the way to a higher price. Here's HSIC up 1% today, Henry Schein. Also a higher high, really healthy looking stock chart to me. You want to see these stocks on that upper right corner of any type of chart that you're long. Here's COT, the beverage stock. Someone must have a big limit order to sell at 750 because it just can't pass through this the last three days. So you might consider reducing that and holding part of it, maybe sell off one third. Weight Watchers got fired up today, up 1.5%. So we're continuing that uptrend real gradual on Weight Watchers. So you guys take care. Put the odds in favor. Don't get leveraged. We'll talk to you tomorrow night.